In 1985, Mr. Otto Friedrich led a small group of dedicated volunteers to found the Cleveland Hungarian Heritage Society. Since 1986, they have operated both a museum and library filled with historical, literary, and artistic items from Hungary. It was very important to create something physical so that we can show the public what we are all about and consequently decided that museum would be a perfect opportunity for that. So people then, as time was on, were able to donate things and uh, little by little we grew. Obviously, it is now a very important part of the Hungarian heritage here in Cleveland or actually in Northern Ohio. Channel 3 News reporter Marshall McPeak is learning about Independence Day today at the Hungarian Heritage Museum. You know, it's all inside the Richmond Town Center Mall. Who knew you could find so much inter interesting history and culture right here inside the mall, right? Look at this. This is a traditional wedding ceremony that's uh, all set up here. Look at this headdress, will you? Is that amazing or what? As you walk down the, down the line here, you'll see all sorts of traditional costumes, all sorts of things that just on the very face of them say, I am Hungarian. In many ways, the society and the great work of their volunteers has helped build bridges between Cleveland and Hungary. When people visit the 6,000 square foot museum, they walk through the ornately hand-carved Seke Kapu. Once inside, visitors enjoy an impressive display of folk costumes from different regions in Hungary, as well as dresses worn at the Hungarian royal court. A variety of traditional pottery and porcelain from various regions in Hungary and the Carpathian Basin is also on display. A large exhibit about Cleveland area Hungarians includes the artwork collection from the original Hungarian churches in the area. Over the past several years, the museum was chosen to safeguard and display artwork from St. Emmerich Church, which was closed down but recently reopened. In addition to the permanent exhibits, every year three special exhibits are offered in the gallery of the museum. Past exhibits have focused on the 1956 Hungarian Revolution, Domian woodcuts, Hungarian lace and embroidery, and the rich tradition of Hungarian composers. Just last year, the museum sponsored a special exhibit of local artists under the age of 40. The Cleveland Hungarian Heritage Society has grown over the years through the unselfish help of our friends and supporters and also the dedicated uh, work and effort of our volunteers who had given so much of their time. Oh, this area also serves as a meeting place for local community events and lectures. Statue which was unveiled in 1904. Uh, One annual lecture series features presentations on Hungarian and Ohio Hungarian American history, as well as an active outreach program to young Hungarian Americans. The museum library houses 8,000 Hungarian and English books including valuable out-of-print books on Hungarian topics. The gift shop offers a wide selection of Hungarian gift items and also helps promote the work of local Hungarian artisans. Sales from the gift shop combine with dues, donations and proceeds from the annual Vintner Dinner to make this incredible operation self-sustaining. It is filled with wonderful cultural items that demonstrate the history and background of Hungary itself. And it's also a place where many of us come to buy fresh paprika, uh, Easter eggs, and beautiful books that we can give to our children and grandchildren to extend the heritage of the Hungarian peoples 
and their wonderful country and culture. The museum is managed entirely by volunteers and works with all Hungarian American organizations in Northeast Ohio. In addition, they welcome all immigrants from recent to third or fourth generation who may not speak the language but are still proud of their Hungarian roots. It is my great pleasure to welcome you today to this illustrious gathering where we honor one of our most outstanding statesmen and humanitarians, His Highness Dr. Otto von Habsburg. Based on their long-term success, the museum has become the central gathering place for Cleveland Hungarian events and has become the primary location where the local community comes together to welcome visiting Hungarian officials. In 2015, the museum will celebrate its 30th anniversary. There is no doubt that the Cleveland Hungarian Heritage Society Museum serves as the heartbeat of Hungarian culture in Northeast Ohio.